Well, happy Wednesday morning to everybody. Good morning, good morning. Welcome to my channel. Um, today we're going to do one called Sunbelt by uh, Jody Genovese. Uh, and I'll, I'm first going to show you her Instagram page. So you can go over there. Here's where it is. And that's the main step out. And then she shows a variation. And she shows a lot of artwork. And then there's a close-up of that one. Isn't that cool? And she shows a close-up of that one. And then she shows her, her workbook where she has all sorts of different variations of how she draws this pattern, which is quite inspiring to see how somebody plays, especially a person who figured out how to do the step out, how they play with the pattern. So I thought that would inspire you guys. I really kind of like this one. Whatever this is, I like that. But you can't play with it until you know how to do it. And so for me to zoom in on this, it's hard to zoom in and stay zoomed in on Instagram. So I did take a screenshot and put it in my gallery so that we can zoom in and take a good look at it. So first we're going to start with the zigzags. And then on this side of the zigzags, like, like if these are stairs, on the top of the stairs, we're going to put triangles. Then we go down here. I don't like when patterns, when the step out goes like this. That I, I like to read this way, but that's just me. Personal, personal preference. Then it looks like... We do those same triangles again here. And she says it's easier to do if you turn it upside down. Then it looks like we connect these bits like this and these bits like this. And then we come in here and do that. And then we do some rounding. So that's interesting to play with. And I'm going to do it on a like a long skinny straight piece. I found a bookmark piece to do that's already been um, watercolored. And so they don't get any bigger. Well, they do get bigger. They get bigger than the zig, the initial zigzag because you make other triangles past it so I don't want to make my initial zigzag much bigger than like this because I want to have room for the others to come out so I'm gonna make myself I'm actually gonna make myself a little mark maybe half inch in maybe a little longer too much. If I make myself a mark there, and I make myself a mark there, now that'll be fine. Okay. Oh, now there's, now they are done vacuuming. They're going to mow. I may have to, I may just have to close my windows because mowing is going to be way louder than vacuuming was. Maybe they weren't vacuuming. Maybe they were blowing. I don't know. So now we're just going to do a zigzag up and down to that mark. How did she end the ends? Or did she not end the ends? I don't know. Let me... I'm going to, I'm going to look at my inspiration. One of them she did it as a circle. So that one she just went all the way to the edge of her paper. So she didn't end the ends. On her notebook, she just kind of, they just kind of end. Okay, they have no special ending to them. So let's go into here. And we're just going to zigzag. Just going to zigzag.
Some of my zigs have turned into soft edges. That's OK. That's OK. I'm OK with things not matching exactly. Uh, not everybody is, but I am. OK, so then we do a little triangles like this. I'm OK with them being a little rough and ready. That line is certainly helping me to stay consistent with my height anyway. like that and she is right I think turning it over will make things easier Ugh, such a noisy I hope that's not too noisy for you it shouldn't be because of the way my microphone sits but if you're wearing headphones, you probably hear it. Oh, they've started up again. Their yard's not that big. I should call him Jimmy. Do you guys watch Alexandra? Uh, Alexandra. I don't remember her last name. But she does, like, silly um, unboxings of... of makeup and stuff. I, I am not a makeup person. I don't wear makeup. I don't follow makeup. I don't know why I found her channel, but I really like her as a content creator. She's fun to watch. But she has a, a neighbor. She has named Jimmy. He just mows all summer long. Oh, I got a little carried away there. Oh, well. We'll see what happens. I may make that a little thicker of a line. My my zigs are, have gone very soft. Some of them. Some of them are real pointy. Some of them are soft. That's okay. What's our next step? Then we do that. Where am I going? I'm going here. Oh, my chair. I am going like this and kind of coming as if this was coming this way. do the other way like this is coming here and like it's showing ending up over there it's kind of what it looks like okay now what Now it looks like she just rounds in here. But 
How does she make that? How does she make that? I'm I'm confused. Looks like she does this. Looks like she also does this. Does it's not on her step out, but in her artwork, it looks like she also does this. So I'm going to do this. This isn't in her step out, but like I said, if I look at her artwork, she has this, and then up and around like that. That looks cool. I like that. And then she's got a oval shape here with this filled in. So I will do that. Whew, I'm getting warm. Didn't think I was going to get warm today. But I've I've closed the curtain and the wind the window's open. I've closed the curtain because it was a little it was making a reflection on my on my thing. But I think I'm gonna open it up. And I think I may turn the fan on. Not the whole AC. I don't think I need the AC. It is a little humid. There's a small chance of rain today. Not likely, but it it is overcast. Sun keeps going in and out. Are you done mowing? Hope they're done mowing. Would be nice if they were done mowing. She's got those colored in dark too. I don't know. Don't know what I'm going to do yet about that. But that might also be a thing. We might come back in and color in the triangles dark. Because I do think that's what it needs. We're going to have a 
little get together at my friend's house today. Not a big one. Um, just four couples. A little barbecue or something. I don't know. I'm sure we'll have way more food than we all need. Doing a potluck. wanted to do it tomorrow which is the holiday on Monday but I have to work they originally said Sunday and then they said Monday and then we went back to Sunday because I have to work on Monday That'll be a fun evening. Oh, I should take that game. We have a game that I keep taking places. We never have time to play. We might have time tonight. Because there really isn't anything on the agenda other than eating. I think I think it would look better with those colored in, but I'm going to switch over to a bigger pen so it doesn't take forever. The seven takes way less time to color in with than the two. And I suppose if you wanted to do some other kind of patterns in and around this, you could. You absolutely could pattern this stripe. And I'm going to have to go in here and erase my line that I put across here because I can see it here. But the cool thing about the Inktober, well, besides the fact that I don't have to think of what to draw, what patterns to use, they're already chosen for me, which is kind of nice, is that um, you know we're all using the same pattern we're all going to come up with something different. Um, I need to go in and find what the hashtag is for this year. So that I can post using the right hashtag. And then when you go looking for that hashtag, you see everybody else's art using the same thing on that day. That's really cool. I really like seeing that and seeing how everybody else interprets the same pattern. This one I just did simple. Let's do a little erasing. Didn't draw it too heavy, so it should erase off pretty good. And besides that, it's got the watercolor background, so I don't want to, I don't want to lose any of my color. I have to just be very gentle with my erasing. There. Is there anything else I want to do to it? I really kind of just like it like that. That makes a pretty bookmark, doesn't it? Do I want to do a? I, I am tempted to just do an aura around the whole thing. I think I am. I think I'm going to aura it with the seven. You make a nice big fat aura. 
Yeah. Guess what? With the number seven, we are going to aura this whole thing. Let's start here. Hardest part about auraing something like this is you have to eyeball that you're far enough past that triangle to come down the other side. Alexander Ryan. Ha! Ah, her name just came to me. That happens a lot. Names names escape me and then they just come to me randomly much later. Okay. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah, I like it with the big bold outline. That's cool. Uh let's sign it. Put the name which was Sunbelt. Okay, you guys have a great day. I will see you on the next video, which will be Imaritas. Imaritas. I don't know. Doesn't doesn't sound like one I think I've ever seen before. So, uh, but here's this one. Should I do it this way? I don't know how to do it for the thumbnail. We'll just do it like this, and we'll zoom in a little bit. Why not? There we go. I think that looks good. All right. You guys have a great day. I will see you on the next video. Go out and do something nice for someone today. Make the world a better place one person at a time. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.